guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and this is a continuation of the walkthrough through Windows Phone 7 series on the emulator. We got that leaked image earlier that allows us to see a lot more of Windows Phone 7 series than we could before. We've already shown you the calendar and the email and messaging application, also Internet Explorer, so if you missed those, be sure to check out our channel at Pocketnow Video. Uh, that's youtube.com slash pocket now video. So let's walk through a few of these things. And we're also going to take a look at the much extended application list over here, which has a lot of new stuff that we want to talk about. So first, let's go into the Xbox Live hub. And again, hubs are places where lots of information can come to collect really under one roof. So here we can swipe to the right to see Xbox Live information. There's nothing you can do with this right now. Uh, we can swipe back to the right and we're taken back to our collection. From here, presumably, there will be a list of games and also a link down here to get more games in the Marketplace. The Marketplace doesn't really work right now, but we can show it, and we're going to show it in a moment. Let's go back to the Start screen. Scrolling down, we can see the Pictures Hub, and let's go into there. The Pictures Hub is where all of the pictures sort of hang out on your phone. Uh, so we can swipe to the right to see some photos, some sample photos. To the right, we get what's new. So this will pull from Facebook and other forms of social, social networking. And then we're back into the gallery where we can drill down further into our favorite pictures, we, into different albums, and into back into favorites. So we can go into the sample media gallery. We can click on any of these pictures. And we can swipe to the right. If your phone has multi-touch, you can pinch to zoom. Or you can double tap to zoom in um, if you're using the emulator. You can also click on a picture to get certain actions. So we can add it to a favorites. So it shows up in that favorite screen. We can delete it. We can share it through email or through uh, MMS. We can also use it as wallpaper or go back to uh, the album. So pretty cool stuff. We're looking forward to seeing more uh, advancements in the pictures hub. Seems like a really good idea. OK, let's go back to the start screen and let's go into Zune. And literally, the Zune hub on Windows Phone 7 series is almost entirely like the Zune HD. It's like having a Zune HD on your Windows Phone, which is awesome because the Zune HD rules. Um, so what you can do here is you can swipe to the right, and it looks like it just goes back to the same screen. We can click on Music, and from here we can filter by the music that we've downloaded, albums, playlists, genres, and so on. Um, but you can actually go and download things right from this application. If we cl click on Marketplace, we're taken into the Zune Marketplace, and we can swipe to the right to see some featured albums, swipe to the right to see new releases. We can tap on any of these albums, get more information. We can see the songs on the album, see the price. Obviously, you can't buy anything right now. This is not an active store, and so on and so forth. And let's go back to the previous screen. Swiping to the right, we can see top albums, things that are hot sellers right now. And we can also filter by genres. So if we want to see sort of hip hop, we can dial in by hip hop. And we should get some nice pictures. There we go. Very visual on Windows Phone 7 series. Everything's very, you know, visually friendly. So we get these nice big pictures for Timbaland. So we can click on that. And we will get um, all of his albums in Zune Marketplace right here with a cool background that shows Timbaland. So a very immersive music experience. And this will be cool when you get this onto a phone. So the Zune application is really awesome. It's one of the more evolved hubs on uh, the Windows Phone 7 series. Let's continue down the line, see what else we have here. We already showed you the mail setup that you can tap into multiple email accounts and sync up with them. OK, so let's go into this application tray. I'm not sure what to actually call this. Maybe it's the Start menu, although this is the Start screen. What you can do is you can swipe to the right to get the list of applications. And Microsoft has gone on record by saying that this screen is probably not complete. Right now, it's really ugly. It's a list of these small, tiny icons that really have no order to them. It would be nice if you could group these by, say, entertainment, productivity. So hopefully, there's more coming. Let's take a look at a few of these applications. We can go to Alarm, where we get some very basic alarm functionality. Uh, we can press the plus button. We can change the time of the alarm. And of course, we get that sweet looking way to change the time. Very intuitive. We can change the sound. Sometimes you'll actually hear. Yep, you can hear the sound there. And then I don't think it's going to stop because I tested this earlier. So we can change the name to say um, new alarm. Press the save button down here. And here we go. And we can turn on and off this ver these various alarms. 
and we can go back in and we can edit them and change uh, certain settings about them. Even change whether they're on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Things that you'll find on a basic cell phone alarm. Nothing really revolutionary there. Just a nice clean interface, very congruent with the Metro look. So now we can go into Bluetooth, which is very simple. Um, it allows you to turn Bluetooth on and off. If I turn Bluetooth on, it will freeze the emulator. I'm not going to do that. Let me go back to the start screen and back into the, the programs list. It's getting a little bit cumbersome having to go back to the, the uh, start screen every time to get to the programs list. I hope they figure out something because it's just annoying if you want to go in and out of applications very fast. Let's go into the calculator. Very simple calculator application. We'll jump back here and go back in. Uh, we've got the camera. Doesn't make sense to show that to you. We've got a simple conversion application, a way to turn on and off cellular data. Going down here, we have a maps application. Let's drill into that. And uh, hopefully that will behave. Doesn't look like the maps application is going to work right now. We can go into marketplace, which is actually uh, a combination of marketplaces. So we can go into the Xbox marketplace, the music marketplace, or the Zoom marketplace, or the standard old app marketplace. And this isn't complete. The background's not there. We can swipe to the right and see the new games and the new things. Uh, we should get a, uh, here it is, a, a listing of the different categories. We can drill in by lifestyle. Um, we can tap on an application and see more information, see the ratings here, the reviews with stars. And that's really it. We can't do too much else with that. If we click buy, it doesn't like that. Okay, so let's go back to the start screen and see the other applications that we have not covered yet. The People Hub, it's really pointless to show you that because I don't have any contacts on here. You can set up an account and link to various places, or you can see sort of all of the status updates on Twitter and Facebook, whatever accounts you have currently set up. So People Hub, not much I can show you right now because there's no syncing going on. We're going to talk about settings in detail. We're also going to talk about OneNote and PowerPoint in upcoming videos. Let's go down a little bit, see what else we have. Speed type, which is just a simple application to help you get accustomed to the on-screen keyboard on uh, the Windows Phone 7 series platform. Wi-Fi is just a simple on and off switch. So nothing really to show you there. And if we go back, we're pretty much at the bottom now. I'm going to show you system info in an upcoming video where we also go through the settings on the device. But that was just a quick look at some of these built-in applications on Windows Phone 7 series. One more thing to note, if you tap on the search button, I don't think it's going to work right now because I think the Maps application has crashed, but it will launch the Maps application or sometimes Bing. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Hopefully we can show that in a, in a future video when that starts to work. So to find out when we post our next walkthrough of Windows Phone 7 series, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just hit the subscribe button right next to the video. That's it for now.